He's coming. Quiet, quiet. This is important. Let's talk about the word surprise. Surprise! Yeah, that word. Put it before party. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Then frivolity flourishes. Yet attach the word surprise to your next medical bill, and you just might need a medically induced clear wake up call. Today, surprise bills just might be surprisingly common. Um, thanks, I guess. This study suggested as many as 22% of in network emergency room visits result in an out of network surprise bill. So let's talk about that with the help of a patient named Jed. Hello. A few weeks ago, Jed accidentally cut his head. Mother f- son of a. B- it all turned his kitchen floor blood red. 911, what's your emergency? That day, Jed went to a hospital that was in network with his insurance. In network. What's that mean? Well, for one, it means that hospital already had a contracted rate with Jed's insurance. This for the facility fee. Welcome. And this for the payment. But on this day, the doc who stitched Jed's head, unbeknownst to Jed, Thanks, doc. had no such deal with Jed's insurance, making him out of network. In this case, that doc wanted this much for his services, but Jed's insurance was only willing to pay this much. So weeks later, that doc billed Jed the remainder or balance of the bill. Surprise! It's why surprise bills are often known as balance bills. Sometimes the bill comes from the doctor who did the work. Sometimes it comes from someone you never met, like an anesthesiologist. Hello. Or a surgical assistant. Hi there. Many surprise bills run in the hundreds. We found some that run well into the thousands. And laws don't exactly help. Imagine a triangle. There's your provider who bills, your insurance who pays, and you. When it comes to balance billing, the federal government and most states, 29 of them, offer essentially zero protection to the patient. The remaining 21 try to keep you out of it by telling your provider and insurance company they need to settle the balance on their own. In legal terms, that's called holding the patient harmless. Seems good, right? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Because in 12 of those 21, no law tells providers they can at least try to collect the balance from you directly. Even if it's a number you technically might not owe. Jed's home state of Colorado is one of those 12. Seriously? So right about the time his head fully healed, he got that balance bill. Not knowing the laws of his state, he assumed he owed it, leaving him on this day of all days. Hey, he's coming. In no mood for yet another surprise.